I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, so here we got this HP laptop in for service. Um, the reason why it's in is because it's no longer turning on. So the, the complaint was it was running and then it shut off and they couldn't turn it back on. So first thing I notice is with the supply power adapter, you plug it into the uh, charging port, the little indicator does not light up at all. So I also took the battery out and tried it without the battery, still nothing. So what could be going on here is it seems like there's definitely a power supply issue. And the reason why it was running and then shut off was probably because it was running on battery and then the battery went dead. So I had this other HP laptop over here that has the same style power jack. What we'll do is just plug the charger into this and see if we get a light. And we do. So that means the uh, that means the power supply cord is working fine, and it's more likely an issue inside the laptop. So as I mentioned, when I plug this in, we get no light, and you go try to turn it on. Absolutely nothing happens. So that being said, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to we're going to go into this thing and see what's going on here it seems it seems like it could be an issue with the power jack maybe it can loose from the motherboard somehow I don't know kind of interesting so we're going to take the battery out it has a uh, original battery manufactured 2013. Now what's interesting is I'm looking at the sticker that has a serial number and it says this is a refurbished machine. So this computer has been refurbished by HP. So that could mean it may have previously had problems and it was returned to HP. HP did a uh, manufacturer refurbish refurbishment of it and resold it maybe through Tiger Direct or some site like that I don't know where the customer bought this from so it's a Windows 8 laptop so what we gotta do is we gotta just go ahead and get into this thing and just wanna check and make sure that the uh, power jack is getting power and if so if it's properly secured to the motherboard Here's our memory. Okay, so go ahead and start taking screws out. Just connect this little Wi Fi cable. Remove the Wi Fi card. Since it will need to come out. I'm going to take all the screws out of the bottom of this thing. Okay, let's remove the keyboard.
man, this keyboard, it wasn't coming out without a fight. <clears throat> but finally, it's out. I'm going to pop out these other little cables here. Now, there is this little power cable map inside here but I don't think that was our problem I'm going to take out these other screws. Okay, so disconnect this cable now. Then get to it. Get all this out of the way. And of course, these laptops they get top heavy once you get the um, palm rest and stuff off of them. So you gotta be careful with that. Okay, so right down here. is our power connector and we can get we can lift the motherboard up just high enough to get to it so matter of fact the uh, power jack is coming right out and may have an extra of these on hand so I could just swap it out and give it a shot I'm trying to carefully pull this thing out without tearing up the existing one there it is the thing is with some of these you can uh, you can easily probe your multimeter in and see if you're getting voltage at the connector It's not quite so easy on all of them though. So let's see if I have an extra one of these cables. And uh, just, just like that, pulled one out which I think is an exact match. Okay everybody, so I stopped video for a moment um, to really look this thing over and it's interesting because the original power jack um, is getting power to the motherboard. I actually used my uh, multimeter to probe these uh, solder joints right here and I do get 19.5 volts between pins 2 and 8 and the rest of the solder joints there look just fine so it's something in the motherboard it seems like. Um, power jacks working fine power supply works fine so it seems like it could be something in the motherboard either a component failure or something else weird going on it's this kind of that's that's, that's a bizarre one um, 
I do think I may have some batteries, laptop batteries that are compatible with this model. Um, I may hook a battery up and see what it does with a, with a uh, charged battery installed. Because, uh, like I say, it's, that's just really, it's just really bizarre. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start putting this thing back together some. Maybe not all the way. Just enough to where I can, uh, I can power it on and test it. Or try to power it on anyway. Okay, everybody, I do have this battery on hand, which is a compatible fit. So what I'm going to do is carefully install the battery in this thing. Figured I may as well go ahead and set the uh, set the palm rest back on it. I'm not gonna fasten it in, but I'm gonna just go ahead and snap it back in. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna even hook the keyboard up to it just yet. Um, I'm just going to pop the battery in, see if we can start it. We're going to plug in this optical drive connector. That way we got a loose metal connection laying over here. Don't necessarily need the Wi-Fi adapter just for this. Um, matter of fact, like a man mentioned, I don't even hook the keyboard up to this yet. Just see if we can get it to turn on. So the battery, this battery does have some charge. So let's see if we can get this thing to turn on now. Still, still no power on. Yeah, that's interesting. So that being said, um, let's go ahead and pop this battery back out. Got this other, got this other laptop over here. Um, what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna um, pop the other battery into this thing to see if it powers up. Gotta tell me if the battery's even got power. So this is starting to look more like motherboard failure. Okay. Let's see if this laptop will power up. This laptop's got some finicky issues of its own, but it's it, it does it usually will work. Okay, so this laptop does power up using the battery out of the laptop in for service, so that tells us we may be looking at a potential motherboard failure. Um, for one, when you plug in the AC adapter, you don't get the charge indicator. That's one sign. The fact that it does not start using the using battery power that's another that's another sign I mean there very well could be a possibility that this little ribbon cable could be uh, not making connection but I mean I have we've reconnected it at least I've reconnected it twice now still nothing so I'm willing to say this is seeming like a motherboard failure. So, I will go ahead and let the uh, owner of this machine know. So yeah, that's that, that's that's, that's, that's kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> these things can just 
like I said, I'm, I'm not real crazy about the uh, the quality of newer HP laptops. I've never actually, actually, I've never really been crazy about them to begin with. They have always, they've always seemed to have reliability problems. Even that red HP Sleepbook 15 I have, I'm just not, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Like this laptop here, the reason why I can't, um, <laughs> the reason why, okay, now it says the battery is low. Let's just plug in the power. And... This side top is charging off of this other the AC adapter that came with this laptop and for service. So again, that tells me that the power supply, the the AC adapter, and the battery from the other laptop are functional. So I'm going to reach out to the uh, customer, the owner. I'm going to look up a motherboard for this thing. See what I can get a motherboard for how much it would cost for a board let them know see if they want to proceed with with the repair or not so anyways I'm not sure if you saw that on the screen or not but that's just part of the issues that this laptop here is having I'm thinking the motherboard in it needs to be reflowed um, the motherboard is in this one it's funny um, this is this laptop's second motherboard. The first one was an AMD based board and I swapped it for this Intel Core i3 based board. See, it just, it just shut off. <laughs> yeah, like I say, this, this, this machine here has problems of its own. Look at it, it started right up by itself. Um, but it was sufficient enough for us to test the battery and the AC adapter and it helped us pretty much um, rule it out as the motherboard. Like I say, I can't be 100% certain, but I'm pretty certain that's what our problem is. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that's it for this video, but don't forget, there's a lot more interesting stuff on the channel to check out. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, feel free to subscribe to keep your channel, and also don't forget to tick the bell so that we will get notified of new video posts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, but if you really didn't like it, there is the alternative option available as well. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, CubeComp MTDX. There you'll find videos about bicycling, weather, elevator tours, and all sorts of other neat interesting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to come back and thank you for your support.